job, hero. So, that right there. First, I will say, playing through all of the Spider-Man games has been an absolute great time. I've really enjoyed every single one of them. They all have their own uh, special, unique moments to them. Uh, and I, I highly recommend, if you haven't replayed them, definitely they're worth revisiting, checking them out. We started with... Um, First, Spider-Man 1, uh, or Spider-Man the movie, uh, the Tobey Maguire. Then we went to Spider-Man 2, uh, we played that. Afterwards, we went to, we tried going to 3, it was a little bit of a mess on PC. So we ended up going to Ultimate Spider-Man. Right After Ultimate Spider-Man, um... So you're gonna take that vacation? We then? went to Web of Shadows. No time for that. And after Web of Shadows, we went to, to Shadow Dimensions, so then the Amazing Spider-Man one and two, and finally Marvel um you said it. You even did the voice. Marvel's PS4 okay, Spider-Man. So like really now real quick. I'm going to do my rankings um, for the, the game series themselves. Uh, so the way that I would personally put them is I would put Spider-Man PS4 number one. Then number two, I would put... Um, I would probably put Shattered Dimension... Oh, no. Number one is Marvel Spider-Man PS4. Number two... Ultimate Spider-Man, which actually has aged very well, surprisingly. For a 15-year-old game, that game ran amazingly. Besides the one error that I had after getting that resolved, um, the game ran really good. It felt really good. It looked really good, too. Um, everything about that game I was really impressed with for being 15 years old. Um, so that would be number two. Number three would be Shattered Dimensions. Number four would be the original, the Spider-Man the movie. Um, I really enjoyed the playthrough of that. Then number uh, five would actually be Spider-Man 2, the, uh, the movie game as well. Uh, then six would be... Or actually, well, oh, hold up, forgot. So before I uh, Sp Spider-Man Two, I would actually put the Amazing Spider-Man Two, uh, or no, the the first one, not the the second one. The Amazing Spider-Man, the first game was actually pretty good. Then I would put Spider-Man Two. Then I uh, the Amazing Spider-Man Two. Then Web of Shadows, and I think that's all of them, if I remember. So just to recap, one was Spider-Man PS4, two, Ultimate Spider-Man, three, um, Shattered Dimensions, four, The Amazing Spider-Man, the first one, five, Spider-Man 2, six, uh, The Amazing Spider-Man, to seven uh spider-man ps4 i mean not Sp spider-man ps4 <laughs> i'm thinking of Sp yeah spider-man ps4 is the worst spider-man game out of all now um the crap what was the other one <laughs> now i'm i messed it up whatever you get what i'm saying i enjoyed all of them though they were all worth replaying. They were all very fun. Of course, top three is Spider-Man PS4, 2, Ultimate Spider-Man, and Shattered Dimensions, top three um, in that order. And, man, it's been so well. It's been so, so cool revisiting every game, seeing the jumps in uh, quality all the way to this one where it's four years, four years between Amazing Spider-Man 2 and this game. 
and the quality jump is huge both graphically and um, storytelling and just mechanics in general it's it's crazy um, we didn't really see that much of a jump in the 2000 to 2008 error or error area I mean um, in that area there was like some like you could see okay they added this in that game but it wasn't until like you hit that the Amazing Spider-Man 1, then 2, you see the increase, but the kind of mistakes that they made for the second one, and then going all the way to Spider-Man PS4. Um, yeah, playing through all of them, it's definitely been an experience, learning the controls, all of that. Uh, most of them, I mean, they all play good. They all ran well for the most part. Um, they all had some similarities, but then some differences, too. It was definitely worth it. So, now, let's talk about Spider-Man 2 from PS5, I guess it would be. If they drop Spider-Man 2 for PS5, uh, then I would buy a day one. The three games that I would buy day one would be... Um, or two games, I guess. It would be Uncharted 5, uh, or no, there's three. Uncharted 5, God of War 2, or Spider-Man uh, 2. I would, those games I would buy a PS5 for. Until one of those three release, I probably won't be getting a PS5 until then. Once one of them releases, I'll probably find a sale or a bundle of that game and the PS5. That's when uh, I'll pick it up because right now, I mean, there's no really, there's not really a point in uh, getting it day one. So that. Um, Give me pause. Your rescue of Osborne, despite his hatred, is affected. So now, what do I think will happen for the next game? Well, except for Uncharted because I never played it. Highly recommend them. The collection was on sale for a, for a while, and I will do a playthrough of them sometime because I actually the one I didn't get to play was Lost Legacy, and I heard that um, they're pretty good. Now they not they're not on P uh, PC, but it's on um, PS4. They have uh, the Uncharted Nathan Drake collection is one, two, and three together. And then you have four by itself, and then um, Lost Legacy is like a spin-off game, but I still heard pretty good things about it. Um, so one day I'll I'll be doing a playthrough of that, but I don't I don't know yet yet. Um, now back to the story. So my guess for the next one is that I don't know what villains they'll add in. I think it would be really cool to see Mysterio. Um, it seems like they're setting up a green goblin because the goblin equipment. Um, now, they could either go with green goblin or hobgoblin. I think either one we would probably see. Now, for Harry's role, I think it's just about almost confirmed that Harry Osborn is going to be uh, Venom for the next game. Just by looking at the tube that he's in, seeing all the equipment he's wearing, um, all the stuff attached to him. I think it, it's definitely something different, and I think Insomnia can definitely definitely pull off that because um, there's so many different... Yeah, exactly. There's so many different things that can happen. Um, I think it would be really cool if they add in... Yeah, if they add in cameos of other people, if they introduce, like, a Gwen Stacy character... Um, if you guys didn't play, I'm just going to do like a little tiny, tiny spoiler for the DLC. Not too much, but it's just like a tiny, tiny detail. Um, if you play through the DLC, each one gives you a like 30 second scene of Peter and Miles and like their interaction together. So by the final one, he's like everything's done in the city everything's cleared out and in the final one he's like all right it's time to get to training and that's it they pretty much jump off they both you get to actually see 
him wearing his suit for the first time. So it leads, that's it. Like they jump off, they're wearing their suits together. I think, I think he's wearing a suit, if I remember. Um, I might be wrong, actually. I don't know if he's wearing a suit. Is he? Oh, no, no, no. he's not wearing, um, Uh, maybe he's not. I think he's wearing like his. Okay, yeah. He puts on a helmet. Or not a helmet. He does the thing that he does in the comics, basically. Where he puts on the. The. Um, Spider Man. Uh, face mask. And he's wearing like his suit that he, he does like in the comics and stuff. So he's not full on like wearing it but he does what he does in the comics um so i think it's possible i think in the next game they'll definitely probably do something similar where you're jumping back between miles and peter a lot like you're going back and forth between the two and then i think that it's possible if they introduce different characters the characters I would really like to see as villains wise is I would really like to see, well, obviously Venom, Green Goblin. I think those two are almost given for the next game. Then some other ones I would like to see would be like Mysterio. I think it would be amazing and actually really cool if we got to see a Morbius um, in one of these games. I don't know if we will. But I think it would be really good and really cool if we saw somebody like Morbius and they did it where Morbius... Now, here's something that who knows what's going to happen. But what if they did it similar to like halfway through the game or maybe like three-fourths? You're switching back and forth between Miles and Peter. Peter but then Morbius takes over Peter, ends up killing him. And then you play as Miles for the rest of the game. Or, I mean, you can swap Morbius with anybody. But I think it's possible that they actually kill Peter, Peter Parker, and they give you Miles for the rest of the game. Or they make you sw swap between the two. I think it would be really gutsy of them to do, but I think it's possible. Because, I mean... A lot of times that's pretty much what happens is Miles Morales takes over after Peter is killed. So, um, who knows? I think it's possible. I would love to see. It doesn't have to be anything like that. I'm just spitballing, really. It can be whatever they want. I mean, I trust Insomniac after everything they did with this game. I trust whatever they're going to do for the next game. So, I think that... Uh, Whatever they decide to do is is uh, going to be pretty cool. And we'll definitely get to see like a uh, Prowler would be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> I think Craven, Craven, Mysterio, um, Venom. I mean, they could throw in Carnage. I wouldn't complain. Uh, maybe even, I mean, Alistair Smythe. He could be in there somewhere. Um, I would like some cameos from like other heroes in the next one, especially maybe after since the Marvel game uh, is coming out, the Spider-Man one, or not the Spider-Man, um, the Avengers one. After that's coming out, maybe they'll have some sort of like um, line or quote that's connected to this game. Like, oh, we we heard Daredevil is in the city after spider-man cleaned everything up like if they somehow like connect the two games in one little way that would be really cool i mean the way that they kind of connected it is when you go past the avengers tower you hear that they're out somewhere in san francisco and that's where the avengers game is taking place so yeah it would be cool to see some more yeah exactly that's what i mean like like the heroes that are known for living in New York City 
I would really like to see that dude Punisher. That would be sick too. Seeing Daredevil, Punisher, Iron Fist, um, just like a small cameo of somebody. Like if it's one mission, uh, Fantastic Four, if they were in, able to to incorporate them into it, that would be really cool too. There's a lot. There's so many directions that they can go, and I'm totally okay with any direction, honestly. <laughs> It's like news report about the mafia goons getting killed. Yeah, so um that there's really a number of things that they can do with it, but I I think that uh either way it's gonna be a good uh good experience and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Definitely, whenever it releases on PS5, most likely, that's when I'll be getting a PS5. Prior to that, I don't really have a reason to, so, either one. Um, whatever really works for me, honestly. So now, it's time to, I guess, close out the game. Um, I'm not really feeling 